guess what? I'm stuck. <laughs> it happens to all of us, even me, even you, almost every time. If I don't get stuck, whoa, that's the exception. So I want to show you. I love this painting, but I don't know, I don't want to take too many things out of it, but I don't want to do anything major to it um, yet. And so this is how, when I get stuck, this is what my process was to figure out what the next step is for this painting. And I'm not 100% sure yet. I have to still sit with all the options. But the first thing I did was, believe it or not, I printed out, you have this resource, seven steps to getting unstuck. And I really use this because I can forget it myself. And the one I did of this was number three. Sit down and go through an inspiration file you've created for yourself. Um, I have a resource binder that can sometimes give me an idea when I get stuck. That's what I did. Let me show you. First, let me change glasses. Um, let's see. I'm going to put this here. This is what I have my, you know, I always talk about my resource binder. And this is when it comes in handy. Um, one of the many times. But anyway, I pulled two of the compositions that I had in there that might be similar. That was my first possibility of just to take them out and hold them up and see what I thought. So I love the black and white pattern. I don't have any black and white. I have the repeated things, but nothing like this. And everything is fairly straight, nothing swervy. And I love this color. So those were the things that stood out to me for this. This one was another one. Now, it does have a lot of dark here, but I loved how the subtlety of this peach color on this neutral, and this neutral background is very similar to this. So I was gonna possibly, um, I'm gonna put this aside and think about that color on here. So I started with that. Then I do want to add some more subtle colors in here, colors, paints. So I have this wonderful thing that's a great reference. Um, you know I love references and I hope, I hope it helps you. I have this and I hold them up. These, this, this group are my neutrals. Look at all the neutrals. So I can hold it up and I have this, um, this hole punch here so I can put it up and see how close it is to that behind me, to that color behind me. And if, say if I want to do this or let's see, I might do something. This is too gray to me. This might be a color. It's still neutral and it would be very wonderful um, for subtlety. And so I just look on the back and I've written down exactly how I made it. So I go through that. The next thing is what I decided I do want to do with this, which is different than a lot of mine, is I want one, I want to experiment with one, well not maybe just one, but big shapes, big shapes, open shapes. So what I did is I have clear plastic and um, you can do it with a sheet protector um, if you want. And so I just took a couple of colors um, to just try it out. This is yellow ochre. And so this is how I try things out on here. So if I do something fairly big and you could put several of these together to do something really huge if you wanted, but I want to just hold it up. Um, I do like that color. I'm not sure where I would put it. You know, I would I keep leaning towards over here, um, down here. No, that's too much of a repeat. Um, not that. And this is actually very similar to this shape and size of the shape. So I might not want to do this because it's just going to repeat this. So the next thing I'm going to do is start off, I did another, the same thing with a blue. I love this blue, and I thought, well, maybe it's very close to the value, so it's not going to just be shocking. But then I thought, well, let me put this around. And I love, see, I got that, oh, I love that, the color with this painting. So I'm going to put it up here. I keep going like something up here needs to work. And I, gotta, I want to go over this. But see, it, it, it's the complement to this. It's the opposite and here, so it works all over here. So I'll probably end up using this somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. And so that's a big shape. Now to just test to see if I don't want one big shape, but just a pattern, because I like that color, I put several of these on and I love that somewhere, but I love, look at this. If I put this here, let's see, let me change. Yeah, if I put this here and this over here, 
I can move it around and so your eye will be pulled over there. So that's what I'm leaning to. Those are the two top of the piles for me. Now the next thing I did was get out my collage papers. And let's see, I'll show you the, I just grabbed a couple of them that I thought would work. At least to think about. And again, this is very similar to that blue. And of course, they're just the pops of orange. Um, and it's a neutral background. So this is the top of the list. I like that. It doesn't mean I'm going to definitely do that, but that's the top of the list. Then I pulled out one of this. I love this color. Um, and I don't think I need it that big, but that's going to go in the pile where, yes, try that. And I love these. It's similar. It gives some interest with the writing. So that's the top of the pile. I'm, see, I'm getting a top of the piles. And I love this too, and I love the straight lines. They're really straight compared with this organic shape. So that goes in the top of the pile. It probably won't be this big, but who knows what I'll do. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how I move through getting stuck. The steps I take, the things that I do to know, okay, then when I come in for the, to, to do something on here, I've got ideas. I don't just look at it and go, I have no idea. So I hope this has been helpful. Please let me know what you like, um, what worked, if this is helpful. So I'll thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.